If you are planning to visit Kurk, famously known as the Scotland of India, then you are at the right place. Hey guys, welcome to Sakra Cubes and this is Sagar. Today we will be talking about top 10 places to visit in Kurk or as we call it in Kannada, Kodaku. Let's get started. When we talk about Kurk, the first thing that comes to mind is the beautiful Mandalpatti sometimes referred as Mughal Pete. Located at a distance of 30 km from Madikeri town, Mandalpatti should be on the top of a list when visiting Kork. You can experience breathtaking views, misty weather and crazy jeep ride at this place. From Mandalpatti entrance to the V point, there is an off-road trail of about 4 km. You can either hire a jeep or trek from the entrance to the V point. If you have an SUV or a two-wheeler, then you can also try driving on your own for a thrilling experience. As soon as you reach the viewpoint, the greenery all around will make you fall in love with the place. The panoramic views are a treat to the eyes. Next on the list, we have Talakaveri and Bhagamandala. At Bhagamandala, there is a beautiful Bhagandeshwara temple that is built in Kerala architecture style. You can also visit Triveni Sangam right opposite to the temple where three rivers Kaveri, Kanike and Sujyoti merge. Just 8 km from Bhagamandala, you will find the birthplace of river Kaveri, the Talakaveri. Kaveri river originates at this place in Brahmagiri hills of Western Ghats. The Kaveri River is a life-sustaining river of two South Indian states, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. In the month of October, Tula Sankramana festival is held by Kodavas to cherish the origin of River Kaveri. Apart from getting the blessings from River Goddess Kaveri, we can also catch the mesmerizing view of the surrounding valley from this Brahmagiri hill. Abbey Falls is located at a distance of 8 km from Madikeri town. Due to its easy accessibility, Abbey Falls ranks amongst one of the top sightseeing places to see in Kurk. A spectacular sight of 70 feet tall waterfalls leaves tourists spellbound. Abbey Falls is located amidst the coffee plantations and tourists have to walk a short distance to reach the waterfall's viewpoint. If you are visiting the waterfalls during the monsoon or post-monsoon, you will be treated with an astonishing view of the waterfalls just like we did. Located in between Madikeri and Kushalnagar, Chiklihole Reservoir is a place worth visiting on your Kork trip. This is an offbeat place as it is not as popular as other tourist spots in Kork. The best part about Chikliwale Reservoir is the horseshoe shaped overspill. The water from the dam overflows from this structure creating breathtaking visuals for the visitors. Please note that such view is only visible during the monsoon. You may not witness such kind of scenery in any other time of the year. Apart from view of the overspill, you can also enjoy the lush green forest around and view of the majestic dam. Before we go to the next item on our list, I have a small request. If you are enjoying the video so far, then please click on the like button and also consider subscribing to the channel. It will motivate me to bring more such awesome content for you guys. Nam Trolling Monastery, simply known as a Golden Temple, is a pride of Kushalnagar. The monastery is located in Bailkuppe, just 6 km from Kushalnagar and 34 km from Madikeri. The monastery is a home to thousands of monks and students who specialize in Tibetan culture and Buddhist heritage. The place is one of the largest Tibetan settlements in India and holds the title of second largest Tibetan settlement outside Tibet. The major attraction of this place is the 40 feet tall golden Buddha statues. We can also witness prayers here, which is a soothing experience. There are many shops in and around monastery where you will get traditional Tibetan items. (music) 
On the number 6, we have Dubar Elephant Camp. Situated at a distance of 15 km from Madikeri, Dubar Elephant Camp is a must visit for elephant lovers. There are more than 150 elephants at this camp. These elephants are trained for famous Mysore Dasra festival. Visitors are allowed to participate in grooming sessions for these elephants where they get to feed, bathe and pet the elephants. If you are feeling adventurous, then you can also try river rafting here. Rather say it is famous for its spectacular view of the sunset. Coors kings used to catch a glimpse of the setting sun from this point. That's how this place got its name as Raja's seat. Apart from the sunset, you can also enjoy the beautiful garden, music fountain and toy train here. Oh yes, there is also used to be a toy train running here. But post covid, the service has been cancelled. I hope they'll restart the toy train soon. Just one kilometer from Raja's seat, we have Madikeri Fort. The fort was built in 17th century by Muddu Raja. Inside the fort, one can find an old church that has been now converted into a museum. There is also a palace and Kote Mahaganapati temple. It's worth spending time at Madikeri Fort if you want to learn more about the history of Kodagu and Kodawa culture. Located at a distance of just 3 km from Kushalnagar, Kaveri Nisargadama is a natural island formed by river Kaveri. Hanging bridge, bamboo trees and deer park are the major attractions here. There is also a recently opened exotic bird aviary where you get to feed the birds. There are also numerous gift shops, eateries and fun activities which can make your visit to Kaveri Nisargadama a memorable one. If you are looking for an offbeat place away from the crowd, then Harangi Dam is a perfect place for you. Lesser known Harangi Dam is the first dam to have been built across river Kaveri. There is a well maintained garden and a music fountain here. If you are visiting Harangi Dam during monsoon, you can also witness breathtaking view of the water flowing from all four gates. I would highly suggest you to visit this place if you are travelling to Kurb during monsoon or post monsoon. This list isn't complete without mentioning the beautiful Omkareshwara temple. Built in 19th century by King Lingarajendra II, Omkareshwara temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva. The unique blend of Gothic and Islamic architecture is an excellent piece of art. The temple is similar to an Islamic Darga as it consists of huge dome in the center and four minarets surrounding four corners. The Pushkarani next to the temple adds beauty to the place. I have explained each and every place mentioned in this video in detail in my vlogs. Click on any of the videos on the screen to watch the vlogs in Kannada. There is also an English subtitle available if you don't understand Kannada. I'll see you in any of these videos. Bye-bye.